Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. Welcome back to another thrifty video. We are at the Goodwill outlet today, AKA the bins where you pay per pound and not per item. Last month this year, I found three pairs of Prada shoes. Did Ooh. I tell you about that? Isn't that crazy? And so I'm really, my hopes are pretty high today. I've got my mother-in-law here. Monica, say hi. Hi. And I've got Giu in the back. Giu's back from Korea. Hi. And we are so excited to go thrifting together. So we're gonna head in. I'll take you guys with me, of course, and we'll show you what we find along the way. But here we go. Let's head into the bins. Good. <laughs> Here's you. Smile. I don't know where Monica went. Oh, she was in the video. Oh, there she is. Oh, good. So excited. See that? I'm excited. I'm gonna take a short video of what they look like. Yes, do you try them on? They're so big. See if that helps your jumping. <gasps> Does it feel like it's gonna help your jumping? Is it like bouncy? No. What the fudge? Okay friends, we are back home and I found such amazing pieces in the bins today. I'm so glad I had some help there with me. My mother-in-law and you helped me find some of these pieces that I'm gonna share with you guys. So give them some love in the comments. If you don't know, Jiu is my exchange student. She's from South Korea. She lived with us last year and she's living again with us this year. So we're excited to have her back. In total, I spent $64 to get all the pieces that you'll see here in a second. My bins are $1.79 per pound. So I ended up spending $2.35 per item. I'm counting that per shoe as well because a lot of these shoes that I got today are super heavy. So roughly about, you know, $4.50 for a, a pair of shoes or a pair of boots. You'll see those. Those are exciting. So I picked up 27 items for $64. And so not too shabby. $64 would maybe buy me one of these items, probably not even one of these. So feeling good about that. But I found some super cool brands, some new to me pieces, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So let's jump into the haul. The first thing that I found is probably the one I'm most excited about. I just want to share it with you guys right off the bat. Look at these amazing vintage boots 
they have this chunky platform and this little white kind of line down the middle of the front here. Now, these are very exciting. They'll probably be in the thumbnail because these are rare. These are vintage like 90s chunky rave boots and they're by the brand Bunker. So I had never heard of this, but when I saw one in the bins, especially that this one has this really chunky like metal, almost like keychain attached to the laces, I knew they were something special. They're really interesting. They have Bunker here on the back. Absolutely super cool, really good shape. Also look at the bottom here. It says like atomic number Bunker. Very interesting, very heavy. So that's why I had to kind of count per shoe as well. So these ones cost me $4.50 in the bins. And I was doing some reverse image searches just to make sure they were worth picking up. I knew they were interesting. And when I did a reverse image search, let me tell you, the things that came up blew my freaking mind. I saw some of these listed for like $900, some listed for 500. It is really crazy to me. I looked on eBay, there's only one pair listed. Those are listed I think at $500. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell these for $1,000. That might take a hot minute, but I think I can get a good amount for these. These are in a size 10. I'm assuming that's a men's size 10 because they look pretty large. And I think a conservative estimate is I can probably sell them for over a hundred dollars. I'm kind of wondering if I can get a, like two or 300 bucks for these. If you guys have ever sold bunker shoes or know anything about this, if you were, you know, a rave kid of the nineties, let me know, but really cool find. Probably a couple hundred dollars, here's hoping. And then we found a staple thing that I love to sell. Here is a pair of Birkenstocks. If you guys don't know, my bins are really crazy when it comes to shoes. I love selling shoes. And because I'm a persistent thrifter, I feel like I can find more shoes than other people. It's a lot of looking because they don't put the shoes together. So one shoe could be in the first bin and one shoe could be in the eighth bin. You just have to like be able to memorize what they look like and try to find them, which makes a lot of people not wanna look for shoes, it makes me definitely want to look for shoes even more so we found this pair of Birkenstocks one in one bin one in another Monica my mother-in-law helped me find them really cool pair of kind of like a I would say olive green to tan color leather double strap Birkenstocks really had a resurgence this summer these ones it's really hard for me to see what size they are from looking at them I think they're a size nine narrow so we're gonna see if I can't figure out the sizing on those, my feet are a size nine, so I'll stick those in there later. I just sold a pair of Burks, very similar for around 40-ish dollars, I think. So that's probably what those will go around as well. And then very exciting, GU found this bucket hat for me. This is so cute. It has all these little like daisies, kind of like really fluffy. I love it so much. I actually think I'm gonna keep this for myself. I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail, but Maybe I won't keep it for myself. It, it um, Maybe it's not my vibe. <laughs> maybe I'll sell it, but I think it's so cute. And I know that if I sell this or if I take it in person to like a flea market sale, I believe I can get at least 15 bucks for that. And that's so cute. So for $2, 35 cents, I think that was good pickup. And then we have this jacket, which again, my mother-in-law found for me. She was doing really well this day. It is a North Face piece and it is so freaking nice. It has stitched onto it all these, what I would call almost like flower details. Very nice, it's all white. It's in good condition for being all white in the bins and it is thick, like it has a nice like stretchy weight to it. I'm still gonna throw it through the wash because anything white in the bins, I try to get as clean as possible before I list it. And this is from the North Face. It's in a women's size medium. Get North Face pieces, North Face jackets are so expensive, like ridiculously so. I love picking up the North Face in the bins. I think for this, I think I just sold another North Face. It was a men's Denali jacket for like $80. So for this, at least 50 is my guess especially if I can get it pristine condition, nicely cleaned up, I'm feeling good about that. And the second one, I think she also found this for me too, so she's doing great. This one is one of their fluffy, I think they're called the Osito fleeces. It is a kind of like furry, fluffy, full zip, kind of lightweight jacket, all white again. I did pass on one because it just was a little bit too dingy. This one was in pretty good shape, so I picked this one up. Another women's size medium, that's what the front looks like. And there's the back. These more lightweight kind of fleeces don't sell for as much. 
as say a jacket. So I'm expecting for that one more like 30, maybe 25, $30. Also, this looks like a blob right here, but that is my dog. <laughs> he's asleep and he's the sweetest, but he's in the background, of course. And then I also have this cutie pie little crocheted bag. I think I'm going to sell this. I do think it's adorable. I don't think I'll use it, so I should just sell it. It definitely is handmade. We have some strings on the inside that look like where somebody tied it off. I'm really impressed with their work. So cute. Probably list that for around $25, probably just on my Poshmark. Maybe it'll make its way to my eBay as well. And then we have some more incredible chunky boots. Now, I found a couple different pairs of these in the bins. They probably were all from the same person. And I picked up the ones that were in the best condition. One was just so dirty, I just couldn't do it. These are a very interesting pair of chunky black leather boots. They're from the brand GBX, which again, I didn't know. I'm not exactly the grungiest of people. So I picked these up. They're really cool. I don't think that these are gonna be as valuable as the bunker boots, but I do think that these are still really amazing. I love that silver buckle there at the top. I think that's so cool. It's on the other side as well. These ones are in a very chunky platform, square toe, another size 10. My guess, again, these probably came from the same person. They were maybe a donation then. And for these, I'm thinking that these are probably going to sell for around 50 bucks. At least that's what I'm gonna hope for. I'll do more research, of course. But this is like the first look into these pieces. I looked at the bunkers, but I didn't look at these. These ones are the same pair almost, except for a dark brown. So again, we have that really cool silver buckle, the GBX logo right there. Really chunky and really fun. I would be shocked if these were not a size 10 at this point. Yep, size 10. And I think, again, at least 50 bucks. That's what I'm hoping for. And I paid $2.35 per item. So right around $4.70 for each pair of shoes. And then, this is absolutely so crazy. And it just makes me want to die a little bit inside because I looked for hours to find the match for this Doc Martin. And guys, I could not find it. So I just, I bought one. I'm a one shoe kind of hoarder. I have a collection of, um, you know, single shoes that I couldn't find the match to in the bins. I have a whole bin of them of like Doc Martens and Hoka's and really nice shoes that I just couldn't leave behind. And I know I need to list them because you guys have told me that they sell well on eBay, even if they're single shoes. But I wish I could find both, you know? <laughs> and so I did pick up this single pair of Doc Martens. They are a gorgeous floral. They're so cute. They're in great condition. They have a zipper on the inside. It's just like, they're in brand new shape. Like literally they look like they've never been worn. They're in a women's size seven. They're the Wander Flower print. So gosh, I wish I could find them. Hopefully I can sell just a single one of them. Maybe today will be my first time trying to list a single shoe. And then we have another piece of clothing. I didn't find a ton of clothing this day. I just feel like at least this day was so packed and there were so many people digging through those clothes and it was just like not all my favorite kind of brands to thrift. And so I was really focusing on the shoes, but I did find a few amazing pieces like this really cool burgundy fleece lined Woolrich jacket. This is super nice. I think it's great condition really beautiful color perfect for fall i can see a really classy man wearing this and this is in a woolrich size large and i love that it has the fleece lining these have really good comps woolrich sells well for me and woolrich is a really nice brand to resell so size large really good color perfect seasoning perfect season timing and so i think for that probably around 50 bucks is my guess it could be a little bit more it could be a little less and then let's see, I also have this piece. Do you found this for me too? It's just a Britney Spears t-shirt, which I just think is so cool. I believe this is not like vintage in any way. It's got a printed label, but it is a size extra large. Yeah, 2021, so it's newer. Probably came out right after the Britney documentary, but it's in a size extra large. It's a fun t-shirt. I think I can probably sell that 15, 20 bucks. For $2, I thought it was worth it. I probably wouldn't pick it up for five, but for two, we can work with that. And then a very exciting find. Again, I, for every pair of these shoes, it was probably like 
20, 30 minutes of me looking for the pair, like the match. And so it's a lot of love and effort that went into finding these shoes. So it makes me even that much more excited, which I think is amazing. I love putting in the time and effort to look for things like this. These are a pair of Palladium little sandals. They're men's sandals, chunky, again, really cool. I've only found Palladium one other time. I thrifted it in the bins before I knew what it was. I found a pair of boots and they sold, I think within a few days for um, at least 50 bucks, maybe it was 75, it was something crazy. And those were really cool. And these are also really cool. So I think after I put in a little bit of time to clean them up a smidge, to pull some of the things off of the Velcro, <laughs> You know, when it's like full of stuff. That's kind of the point we're at. But these are really cool. And these are in a men's size 11. And they are genuine leather. I think 50 bucks for this is probably a safe estimate. So another really nice pair of chunky shoes. Maybe they're all from the same closet. Honestly, I'm getting that vibe more and more. Wait until you see the next ones. This was a good day for me. A very exciting find here next. I'm so jazzed about these. I have never found this brand before. It is a brand that I have put on my shoe list that I made a couple months ago, um, talking about the best 50 shoe brands to resell online. This is on that list and I have never found it, but I found it today in the bins. And these are from the brand Bed Stew, which again, very excited. I think these are vintage. They're very interesting. They're a men's size 10 made in Mexico. Really interesting pair of shoes. I love the seam details that are on them. They're very cool, but beds do can sell for a ton of money. I've never found them before, so I'm excited to see what they'll go for, but I would say at least $50, maybe more. I'm gonna look it up right now. I didn't really find the exact pair, but I mean, new, these shoes sell for around $300. I would say at least 50. I'm leaning towards maybe listing for around 100. They're so cool. I might have to reach out to some of my friends that sell these more regularly to figure out what I should list them at. But it's another size 10, really cool shoe. I feel like I maybe even should have grabbed more of these. They're so cool. And then a hard swivel to a very more preppy style dress. Navy blue, really nice quality. It's a thin cotton fabric. We got the collar at the top. We do have attached belt still, which is nice. And this is from Talbots, which for me is more of a bread and butter brand. It's something that I can find more easily. I don't pay up for, but I can sell for around 25 bucks pretty frequently. Talbots size 10, I think probably less around 35, make 25 on that, hopefully at the end of the day. And then another t-shirt. This one is a really cool kind of graphic tee. It's in a nice brown color. It's from Marmot, which is a really nice brand as well. More of an outdoor brand, hiking, Gorp core, all of that. Size extra large and it says California on the front. I thought it was really cool for again, $2. Picked it up, wouldn't pay probably five, but I thought for a small piece, it was worth it. And then we have this amazing leather backpack. So it's really nice. It has those backpack straps. They are adjustable. It does have some wear on it. So this has this mark on the front. And then there is a mark, I believe, on a strap. I decided to pick this up. I was gonna pick it up to resell. And then I saw the marks and I was going back and forth on if it was worth it. I think in the end I decided to keep it just for myself because I think this is super nice. And this is actually a good brand to know. So let me show you the brand. Because if you find this and it's in great condition, it would probably be worth picking up. This is Valenka, V-I-L-E-N-C-A, Valenka Holland. Let me know down below if you know this brand, but I saw that this brand was sold at Anthropology, and a lot of pieces, if it was the, the one that was sold at Anthropology, it wasn't reselling for a ton, but this brand in general is really nice. This is a great leather bag, and they were selling for like $75, sometimes 100, sometimes more. So I thought for picking it up, even just for personal use, I thought it was really cute, so. Grab that for $2, real leather, a really nice bag that was probably originally over 100, so feel good about that in my soul. <laughs> this last piece of clothing is a nice wool jacket. It has some striping there at the bottom in green. It is just from Banana Republic, but I feel like it's a vintage piece. 75% wool, 25% nylon, and then it's the original travel clothing, Adventure Outfitters, made in Thailand men's size large very interesting tag definitely think it's vintage i picked this up 
hopefully for my husband I think that he could look really cool on this so if he doesn't want it then I'll resell it since it's wool I believe I can list it for more wool does really well for me so I would probably list that around 50 bucks and then see what happens but I'm gonna see if my husband likes it and if he feels good in it first and then the very last piece I picked up a random shirt for my mom and I also picked up these random boot holders so I can put them inside of boots when I take pictures of them but the last piece that I picked up to resell is a complete mystery but also absolutely amazing and now that I give it a whiff they smell the same as the bed stew the bunker shoes and the GBX's and the palladiums I feel like they probably all came from the same person so maybe these are men's shoes look at these though they're so interesting they are gladiator sandals and they look to be in a very dark brown to black with all this strapping up. So cool. The leather on it is so thick. Can you see that from the side? It's so nice. We have a very good tread. They look like they were never really worn. Again, I'm going to have to stick my foot in these to probably understand it. It says made in Mexico on the bottom. But guys, I have no idea what the brand is. I don't see it anywhere. It's really hard to make out what's on the bottom here. The only thing I can read is that it was made in Mexico, which is actually the same thing as those other bed stews were made in Mexico. And I can tell that these are in a size 10. So I'm kind of thinking that these also came from the same person. And I'm going to try to uncover what this looks like. Maybe I'll put a picture of the square on this video to see if any of you guys recognize this shoe because guys I have a feeling that these are worth money but I have no idea what they are so help a girl out if you guys know I feel like it's probably the same era as all those other shoes I showed you they're so cool they're in the same size I just don't know what they are so if you guys have any ideas let me know but those were the pieces those were 27 amazing pieces to resell online I feel like you probably learned some new brands because I learned some new brands today and maybe you saw some good ones that have been around for a bit and you've seen me haul before but thank you guys so much for watching and for being here and supporting my channel. I absolutely adore each and every one of you guys. If you guys aren't already subscribed, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Also give today's video a thumbs up. It really does help out the algorithm so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video, bye.